Hi, I'm Anna. And I am Bob. And all our animations and body movements are AI generated. And you will be learning how to do the same today. Using just your voice, text, or well, even just an idea. I'm gonna be showing you how to do this directly from your mobile device and using software which is absolutely free for you to use. I'm super excited to show you this, so let's get straight to it. So I have my phone pulled up here and the main tool we're going to be using for our animations today is a tool from Adobe called Animate from Audio. This is a free web-based tool that is available on the Adobe Express uh, group of apps and you can open it on your computer and also on your phone so you don't have to install any app on your phone per se all you just have to do is go to that website so i'm going to put a link to the website down in the description of this video so click on that link and that should take you to the adobe express website and then you can follow along with this tutorial all right so i have adobe express open right here on my phone um the very first thing you want to do is select whatever character it is you're trying to animate so they have several characters that have been made available for you and this tool has been created by the adobe character animator team so if you look at a lot of these characters they look very familiar to something that you would see on adobe character animator so these are very very similar characters if you've been following along with some of my tutorials you might be used to some of these characters already so they have a bunch of these you can select whichever one best suit your use case um the only drawback is that they do not allow you to upload your own custom character at least for now you can't uh, but you can select any of these existing ones so i'm going to go back to a throwback to do another demo from uh, my very first character animator tutorial so i'm going to be using footy right here we're going to do a little spot demo uh for soccer or football uh, depending on what part of the world you're from i guess if you're from the rest of the world it's football if you're from america well it's soccer so uh we'll call it soccer for now let's debate that in the comments whatever you call it i like football cool all right, so we have our character selected. The next thing we need to do is select a nice background for the character. So like a set and a good place that better fits whatever it is you're trying to do. So I'm just going to go to the background section right here. So unlike your characters, for the background, you can actually upload a custom image. So if you have an image with your logo or something you've custom designed, you can select that here. And they have tons of other backgrounds that you can use also, uh, depending on your use case. So in our case, since we're doing something uh, for sports, I'm going to select here a stadium, which seems appropriate for the use case. So I'll put here a stadium. So uh, before we get animating, I want to talk some about uh, size right here. So if you go right here, there's a tab for size. And this determines the final output of your video. So depending on where you're trying to post this, they've kind of made it easy for you. So like you have the Instagram right here. And if you select on the drop down, they give you uh, the different platforms. So for Instagram, say you wanted to do a story or a reel, you know, it helps you resize it so that it fits properly for um, an Instagram story. In my case, I'm gonna choose on YouTube and just do a regular standard video that can go on YouTube. And then we're gonna go back to our character. So now that we have uh, the background and the size set, if you tap on uh, the screen with your hands, you can actually move your character around like so and put him wherever it is you want him to be and if you wanted to scale the character they have this little scale tab here that can actually you could make him smaller make him quite bigger if you want big head or uh, small tiny cannot be seen all right so i'm just gonna put an appropriate size right here i think 100 percent is actually good uh for this particular um one that we're doing so i'll keep him here at a hundred percent so now that that we're done uh we've pretty much set everything we just need to now animate this character he's very static so there are two ways you can do the animation um it's by either recording your own audio right into this so recording your voice or also uploading a custom audio into the system for it to animate that audio so i'm going to show you the two options we're going to start by recording our audio and what you want to do is hit the little record button here but before we do that if you notice below that there is a little knob or little toggle button that says enhance speech and this is also using AI in the background to make any bad audio sound a lot better. All right, so we're set to start animating, but I actually do not have a script for this character. I just know I wanted to do something around Spot. That's where the next AI tool I'm going to talk about comes in handy. I'm sure you've heard about ChatGPT by now. If you haven't, I have a video on that coming soon. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, that way you get to know when I release that video. So I'm going to head over to ChatGPT right now and make it uh, sort of help us with writing a script for our video. To access ChatGPT, you simply go to chat.openai.com. I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. So I have it open here. 
So I'm gonna just simply say write a funny intro for a soccer update YouTube channel. So as you can see, it's giving us here some nice, uh, nice intro text, but I think this is a little bit too long for what I'm trying to do. So I'm just gonna say make this into one line. So as you can see, it's updated this for us. It said, welcome to your one-stop shop for all your soccer updates, where we keep you entertained, informed, and wondering why you ever wasted your time with anything else. So this looks pretty good. This is actually not bad, not bad chat GPT. So I love this. So I'm gonna take this and let's go ahead and actually record this now. And to demonstrate how well this tool works, or the AI audio enhancing tool, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go record this demo from somewhere else, just so that you can get a feel of how well it makes the audio sound better. So let's head out to somewhere else. All right, I'm right here in my laundry room. As you can see, the audio here is not that great. You can probably hear some echo. It's not as treated as my studio. And maybe even hearing some background noise from my kids in the background. And I'm also gonna turn on my washing machine right here so that it makes some background noise so you just see how well this AI tool does at removing background noise and cleaning up the audio. So let's go ahead and turn that on and we get straight to actually recording our script here. Welcome to the one stop shop for all your soccer updates where we keep you informed, entertained and wondering why you ever wasted your time on anything else. Alright, now that we have that recorded, let's head back to the studio. Alright, now that we're back from the laundry room, let's go ahead and clean up the audio. All pun intended there. Alright, first let's play back the audio we just recorded to hear what it sounds like. Welcome to the one stop shop for all your soccer updates where we keep you informed, entertained and wondering why you ever wasted your time on anything else. So as you can see the animation is not that great and also the audio is quite bad and the animation is not that great because the audio is bad. So I'm just going to go back to editing and I'm going to click on enhance speech and I'm gonna have it to uh, preview that. All right, so the AI is done cleaning up our audio to make it sound good, and hopefully also the animation looks a little bit better. So, but before I play that back, let me just remind you what it sounded like without the AI enhancing the audio. Welcome to the one-stop shop for all your soccer updates. So that's what it sounded like. So now let's hear what it sounds like now. Welcome to the one-stop shop for all your soccer updates, where we keep you informed entertained and wondering why you ever wasted your time on anything else so as you can see our audio sounds a lot more better there's still a little bit of the sound there of the washing machine and all but it's a lot better and you can see because the audio was cleaner um our animation is much better but of course uh this is just in situations where you do not have clean audio the best is always to get your audio clean from the beginning so you want to make sure you record your audio in a place that's already clean anyways but this is good enough for now so you can actually just go ahead and just click on the share button and this is gonna ask you to create an account so you just want to create an account it's free to do that and then you can go ahead and download your video and it's now ready to share so this is what the video looked like cleaned up with some sound design and a little bit of sound effect added to that that's what the video looks like Welcome to the one-stop shop for all your soccer updates, where we keep you informed, entertained, and wondering why you ever wasted your time on anything else. All right, so far that was great, but what if you wanted to use pre-recorded audio? Let's say, for example, I wanted Pudi to have a female voice. I mean, I could try to like do a high pitch, mimic a female voice, but I don't think I can do a good female impression. Well, you got that right. Uh, that's where I'm going to show you the option to upload your own audio. And we're going to be using another AI tool to actually convert our script into a female generated audio that looks a little bit realistic. And I'm going to show you that right now. So let's head over uh, back to the phone and let me show you how to do that. So there are many text to speech tools out there, but the one we're going to be using today is a tool that is called uh, Prime Voice AI. So I have it opened right here on my phone. And what you just simply do is just go right here and paste whatever text it is you want it to say. So in my case, I'm going to type, type in the welcome uh, text that we had chat GPT just do for us. And then since I want a female voice, I'm going to look for one of the female voices that they have here. Uh, let's say Bella. So I'm going to select Bella and it's going to take a couple of minutes to run. And let's hear what Bella sounds like. Welcome to the one-stop shop for all your soccer updates, where we'll keep you informed, entertained, and wondering why you ever wasted your time on anything else. All right, that's suiting, I think, a lot better than my voice uh, for a soccer update website. Uh, so I'm going to use that. I'm just going to click on the download button. For this, you don't actually have to create an account. They let you download it for free up to a certain number of characters limited uh, by your IP address of which you would have to create an account. So 
Since I have that downloaded, we're gonna now head back to Character Animator. And I'm just gonna go back to back to editing. And then I would click on replace audio. Uh, since my audio is already clean, I will remove the uh, enhanced speech functionality and just click on replace audio. And then now it's asking me to upload. So I'm gonna choose from my file. And I have Bella right here. So I've selected that audio. Welcome to the one-stop shop for all your soccer updates, where we'll keep you informed, entertained, and wondering why you ever wasted your time on anything else. Another limitation to the software is that it actually only allows you to animate one character per time. Now the workaround to that would be to animate your characters on the software and then export them and use a video editing software to sort of put them together. If you'd like to see a tutorial on that, let me know down in the comment section and give this video lots of thumbs up. If it gets enough thumbs up, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I'll do a tutorial on that and post it right here on this channel. And also if you want granular control on your characters, then you probably want to use the full character animator software. I have tutorials on that already and those will be popping up right here. Make sure you check those out and do subscribe to the channel to help me grow this channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.